What is up, YouTube? We are in the garage once again. This time, not by choice for the first time ever. Well, not the first time, but very rarely. But I got kicked out of my own house. Nothing bad. She's just... Daddy's doing a girl's night. So, I'm out here. I don't have all that much to do because the head for this Honda motor is at the shop. Disassembled everything. Got... All of that set up and ready to go. Just need to finish blasting and cleaning up the back of the side of the valves. Still need to rehone the cylinders, but I don't have a hone small enough because I'm doing tiny little micro Honda things instead of the standard Harley stuff. So my hones and my tools do not work. Got a new hone coming in the mail. Jeff Bezos hooked me up with a medium sized hone for a whopping $26 or something. I don't know. A little more, but it came with a fresh set of stones. So waiting on parts to hone out that cylinder, uh, well, that set of cylinders rather. Then head stuff still apart. Got to blast the back side of the valves. Going to relap those into the head when Jeff Bezos' other gift shows up. A medium to small sized valve hone. So waiting on tools basically to keep moving forward with this along with all of the gaskets and the other important parts that I need to start putting this back together. Like I said, we'll be moving forward, just waiting on the mailman for parts and tools. On a side note, shirts coming soon. Got the drawings back. I'm pretty happy with them. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And then I got to figure out how I'm supposed to make those available to you. But one way or another, there will be some merch getting posted soon. Shirts, stickers, some other fun oddities like that. Kicked out of my own house, but they feed you good here. Apparently this is the first course. Sweet. <laughs> Either way, hanging out with the pups in the garage. Uh, in order to kill some time, I do want to pull these pistons off of here. Uh, one, I want to clean up the crowns. Much easier to do either on a wire wheel, wire wheel or sandblast them, and maybe we'll do some more of the Cerakote stuff. Let me turn you guys back around. I'll show you what we're doing on the motor while I'm kicked out of my own house. Okay, here is the Honda motor. I have one piston ring off of this cylinder. On this Honda, I don't know how well this is going to focus. I thought I had pretty decent light in here, but we got little snap rings on each side of the piston. I will throw you guys up on the tripod. We're going to disassemble these, at least get them off. One way or another, they need to get cleaned up before they go back in the motor. We are going to also throw some fresh piston rings on this standard bore. I'm not honing, uh, I'm going to hone the cylinders, but I'm not going to rebore anything. There will be no machining. This is going to turn into a quick, down and dirty, no machining, rebuild. So reseal, re-ring, re-hone, send it. Let me get you guys set up after I eat some of this vegetables. I don't like those green things. After I eat some of the salad. Okay, so this is going to be very hard for you guys to see, and I don't have good enough equipment. But here's your piston uh, wrist pin, right? It goes through here, and then there's two little C-clips on each side. What I have here is a little tiny screwdriver. You can also use a pick. I like these because they do have a magnetic tip. That front is steel. And now all of you guys just got to see how terrible my dog is jumping up into my service cart to grab a bone out of the bag that I left there. Just realized that happened. Either way, we'll let that one slide for now just because the camera's rolling. Wrist pin on Hondas and a lot of other Japanese bikes are held in by little tiny snap rings of some sort. I didn't try using this one first and I'm also trying to make it accessible for you guys to see. So, little screwdriver, little angled pick. We're gonna try both of these. The pick might actually work a little bit better in this scenario, because when I lift up and take the tension off the snap ring, I can get right behind it and slide it out. Now, I'm gonna hold my thumb over the end of this clip while I yank this out, because they are under pressure, and the last thing I want to do is send one of these flying across the shop like I did with the basket of the valve in the last video, which 
I time lapsed it. I don't know if it actually showed up on the time lapse. So now I'm holding the snap ring with the pick, kind of work it out. And that is what you are trying to remove from your piston. On the table over here, I have this all laid out still. So I'm throwing them exactly where they need to go again. Now, that is the end of the, that's the only one I'm gonna show you close up, but you're gonna get the pick behind. Hondas are actually kind of nice because they do have a groove in here to get that ring, uh, the snap ring in and out. If you want, you can try and wrestle this wrist pin out that way or put it on the inside and kind of walk it out this way. Maybe I can get this to work on one of these. I don't typically go about removing the wrist pins in this fashion, but let's see if I can get lucky. Just while I have you guys zoomed in on the camera there, I'm gonna grab a slightly bigger screwdriver and see if I can basically use the edge of the screwdriver to kind of catch a grab on the inside of this wrist pin and finagle it out. Normally what I'll end up doing is coming around to the back side. You don't need to pull both snap rings to pull these wrist pins out at all because they'll stay in and I can take them both out. There's not an issue, but reach around to the backside with a screwdriver big enough to hit the outside of the wrist pin without hitting the actual snap ring. Now this is free and floating. Give it a quick little wiggle. Wrist pin will slide all the way out. Pistons there. I'll throw this right back together and I will also leave this in the exact same side. On Hondas, it is a little bit different too. It's super dirty. But if you can make out the IN right there, that's your intake side. So intake side goes towards the back, exhaust side's on the opposite side. I don't know if it says exhaust. Like I said, not well versed in Japanese stuff, so I really don't know. And what I'm actually gonna do right now is go a step further. I'm gonna push this wrist pin all the way back in so it sits flush on the other lock that I haven't taken out yet. I'm gonna throw these snap rings right back in. Not necessary, but I have a ton of parts laying around in the garage. I don't know the next time I'm gonna get back to working on this. So if I can keep everything together, it makes me feel much better about it at the end of the day. So in order to put them back in, I'm gonna kinda cue up this wrist pin here. Just kinda walk it in by hand first. Then I'm gonna take the same pick I used to pull them out, drop that back in the groove, set this on the high side of the wrist pin, and walk this around until this goes right back into where it should. Doesn't need to be fully locked, however, push down on it a little bit, and that's right back in the groove where it needs to be. I don't have to worry about losing those piston and wrist pin completely back assembled. Decarbon the rings, we're probably gonna be replacing the rings regardless, and go from there. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys kind of zoomed in a little bit on the motor here, like so. Now I'm gonna pop out the rest of these wrist pins. Like I said, I showed you the first one. The rest of this will be a time lapse, so enjoy that. Or don't, skip ahead. Up to you. If you know how to pull pistons, you don't need to be watching this anyway. If you don't, that's the way we're doing it. Like it or not. You wanna do it different or better? Make your own video.
Well, there you have it. Pistons are removed. Hopefully that was an okay little time lapse. I did drop the, I don't know if it was the first or the second one, dropped one of the circlips right down in the middle of the motor. That is the number one thing you don't want to do when you're pulling out pistons. Luckily, dropped right into the bore on the inside of the crank cheek. If it somehow landed on either side or got around to the bottom of the crank, that would have been a little bit more difficult. I got really lucky on that one. You don't want to have to take apart an entire bottom end just because you decided to drop a clip in the motor. It's not fun. I've done it. I've 100% had to do that. Huge pain in the ass. But managed to get it out. Got lucky on this one with the magnet. So awesome job there. Me. Go me. I knew what I was doing the whole time. I didn't care. Not at all. Anywho, motor is completely apart now. Pistons are out. The other thing you can do to make this way easier on yourself is if you pull these studs, there is way more room, especially on a little 350. There's not a lot of clearance in between here. I don't have gigantic hands by any means. Like I said, I'm six foot tall. Tight fit trying to get in around the pistons, especially sliding the wrist pins out from the backside on a four cylinder. On a twin, like a 350 twin, probably wouldn't have that problem. Four cylinder, you got a whole bank. Pistons get smaller, displacement stays the same, but pistons get smaller. So you have less room to work, less space in between the flywheel. Crankshaft? You know on Harleys you call them flywheels. This is a crankshaft. Going, going with the car method on this one. It's a Honda after all. So that's where we're going to leave this one off. I know I ranted a little bit, but if you're interested in shirts, keep an eye out. In the next couple of videos, I will be releasing a couple little tidbits of that once I figure those out. I'm going to continue trying to play with these dogs who also got kicked out of their house. Right, Bailey? Yeah. They're kicked out, too. Anyways, motor is currently there. I don't know how long it's going to be. Got to put some part orders in for gaskets and piston rings and all those fun things. I will get a video rehoning the cylinders. That should probably be coming out this weekend. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please do me a favor and tell your friends if anybody is into the old Honda crap and is talking about maybe redoing a motor. Hit that like or subscribe button for me. Leave me a comment below if I did something catastrophically wrong or you have any suggestions on this. I am open to those as well. However, this is not one of my own personal bikes, so I'm kind of going at the discretion of the person that's having me work on it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.